Look at this guy just pop. Man, that is beautiful. That is some beautiful jemmy. All crystal. This is a uh, cast of one of the clams. And it's one of my best specimens, I think. Look at the shine that came back when the top layer was cleaned. This is an amazing beauty. So cool. You can see right through it. Everybody, Anthony here. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and trim these beautiful golden calcite crystals that grow in these fossilized clams down in uh, Central and South Florida. Uh, they can look really gemmy and sparkly when they're done right. Uh, they're about 1.5 to 2 million years old. Let's get started. Here are a couple of pieces that are uh, not cleaned yet. You can tell them there's some crystal facing right there. Um, this are going to be some before and after shots. And they're just, that's how they come out of the ground. They're just super dirty and muddy, covered with everything else. Um, here are some half pieces, some sparkle on them. Um, here's a pretty dirty one, and that's going to look really nice when it's done. Now let's get them hosed off. That's the first part. Get off the debris, all the hard chunks. So here are two uh, good examples with the uh, top layer exposed, the shell's gone. Um, they look beautiful, they're wet and gemmy. Uh, that's what we want to keep the wet look after it's uh, uh, you know, dried up. And uh, anyone who's uh, mined these before will tell you that when they dry up, they look totally different than, than when they do now. So uh, you, you get a little disappointment afterwards, but we'll, we'll get it cleaned up with the acid. Here are three other pieces that are fully dried off and you can see all the crusting and the, and the little bit of crystal damage and the white on the top there. And all the happiness when they're like jemmy and <laughs> wet is just all gone. Here are the two pieces uh, dried up already. As you can see, it's uh, the pitted and uh, they're just not nice. Uh, this portion looks a little better. That's the, a little bit more protected when it broke off. Um, but the whole thing itself is not as presentable when it's dry. So here's the acid I use uh, from Home Depot or Walmart. Pretty standard stuff, muriatic acid. I do a 50-50 mix and uh, put in a small container, reusable parts here. Um, I use a cotton swab, uh, occasionally an eyedropper to get into a spot where I want. And that's the uh, process I use. Uh, I recommend a small uh, water bottle, spray bottle. Instead of the larger ones, um, I find that the priming of the water is a lot uh, better and there's more pressure using these smaller ones versus the, the large water bottle. Um, especially when you're trying to get the uh, acid uh, washed off faster than, uh, than slower after you've applied it. So when you get started, make sure you use gloves as directed and eye, eye protection and in a ventilated area. This is a strong acid. Um, I pretty much just dab really quickly on the crystal portion. I leave the shell on, you know, pretty much untreated. I don't really need that to look jemmy. Just these parts right there. So a real quick dab. Um, and because this is 50-50, it's diluted. I don't have to worry too much that it's gonna eat into the crystal for too long of a process. Um, on the shell portion, sometimes I hit it twice right there, but not too much longer. Give it a quick rinse. Look at the difference. The color just comes back. Usually the top portion is to hit it twice. I only need to hit it once on the uh, inside where the rainbow is at. Quick rinse. Look at the difference.
Initially, I had used the straight up one, uh, one to hundred percent, and uh, I found that it was just uh, kind of dicey to rinse that off so quickly. So 50% uh, is working pretty good for me, and a Q-tip. Just apply as needed as much as you want. It just soaks it up on the Q-tip. You can always do more. Just uh, see how it looks like first after one quick uh, pass. And then uh, you can always uh, go back and add more if you need to. And I'll give you an example afterwards uh, of one of these shells where if you just keep hitting it with acid, it's going to look uh, very glossy and uh, waxy, which is not necessarily the look you want unless that is what you want. But if you just want to get that sparkle back to the uh, crystal then uh, this would do it all right let's get them dried up so this is what you don't want to do unless that is your intention uh, if you hit the acid on there too long you're going to get this waxy kind of glossy look on the shell as well as the crystal so this is something that's not as desirable in my opinion um, unless you just want to play around with it, but that's what will happen when acid hits the uh, the calcite for too long Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video uh, Stay tuned for the results coming up and uh, don't forget to check out my channel for all my rock hunting adventures Crystal Miner Rocks signing out